okay thank you so okay so today we are going to see about that uh, pass services uh, that is manage instance and sql sorry azure sql okay so in manage instance uh, we can see from here how can we create so first we have to log into portal and then go to the resources and then we can see here more services and then we have a database okay and we have a manage azure manage instance here i think where is that manage database vms manage sql manage instance okay so now we can start from first we have to just create this okay just create see this is the window for manage instance okay so we have to create manage instance and all and then we have to map subscriptions and all we have what we have da, da, da. so see this is the window okay and see this is a cost per month okay this is so according to that we have to just check uh, with the minimum configuration because we are not going to pay this much of uh, this amount that is i think one lakh twenty nine thousand it is saying okay and uh, mm -hmm. okay so here is resource group first we can search our first resource group this is dp 900 okay and then vm name mm -mm -mm -mm. this is pass m okay then sorry just hold a minute huh? Oh, sorry. Okay. So we have to just check all these things. This is reason. It is okay for this reason. We cannot get this. Okay, subscription. Ta -ta -ta. Sorry, resource. But ta -ta. we can just create as a pass. Let's see. Sorry. Now go with the central it is not going for then us one okay and then for pool we are not going here because this is for different but we can configure as per our requirement the resources and all this is saying about max data size not required <laughs> estimate it okay no why does not selecting the reason basically Mm 
okay this is saying limited quota okay that's why uh -uh. so we can select this one let's see no building is different one we not provide any description or the issues and all okay so how can go back 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 here sorry yes basically you to see that the error because this is not supporting us in asia basic reason okay which is easy to access basically okay a network let latency is very less okay let's see this configuration first we can just change the configuration uh oh this is saying that general purpose 82 4 to 80 cores and 20, 32 g minimum but that's same okay but we can select the basic data from here we can go for v4 4gb 256 gb and we are not going for geo redundancy backup not required we can keep it locally okay to reduce the cost and backup backup not okay so basically this is a part for that cost redu reduction okay because this is not an enterprise application we are not going to host but if we are going for that then we can plan accordingly the v, uh, vm and all the storage we have to just check ac accordingly okay and then select so four core we are not getting less than okay four core and then the storage is 256 uh, 256 not required more that's 128 okay because os and all data yeah okay now okay okay so then this is a server conflicts and then we can apply here then cost also come okay and then the manage instance name let's see mnc or pass okay as per our understanding the naming convention okay and then resource group just create pass simple the new resource Mm -hmm. okay then authentication mode microsoft extra authentication no sql both and microsoft extra okay then we have to pro provide admin logins here so let's note it down first mm -hmm. so we can just pass here pass admin something like that so we can remember username is pass admin okay shall i say uh, what is meant by enter admin this uh, top one that well, extra 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 only no? this is authentication no, is, more mm -hmm. no, no, that is showing enter enter admin enter admin that is uh, it is, uh, I think, uh, yeah, this is uh, managed by that extra login, no? that is Azure, uh, uh, Azure like domain uh, accounts, okay? So if we, we, we configure all these things for whole environment, no? then we can use uh, Microsoft extra login. That is, uh, that is, that is the admin for that, okay? We cannot add okay. here because we are not going to configure that uh, extra admin, okay? So we have to just create all these things, then we can authenticate here. So Windows, like Windows account, okay, domain account. Okay. So extra, yeah, extra logging is that only for that we can say that lightweighted uh, LDAP, yeah, LDAP users. Okay, that is configured as okay. your. Yeah. Okay. So we are not going for the same. Okay, we will configure later because it, it is uh, in. Uh, I think we can create later. I think in the, sorry, in that uh, ta, 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 in syllabus we can see later. So, okay, user and authentication mode is later here. See here. Okay. We can see in this uh, this module okay 
So, okay, so we, this is a user of pass. Okay, pass admin. Then we can just pass the password. Mm -hmm. For this, uh, we can uh, let's let's light it first, uh, and then we can. Then I can pass this. Okay. Okay. Length is 16, at least 16 characters. So we have to just see that the password policy is here. Okay. Windows, we have also password policies, but in Azure, we have a main minimum, eight minimum character, but in Azure, we have minimum 16 character. Okay. So just uh, need to note down accordingly that 16 characters. Okay. Two, three, four, six, 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 nine, nine, thirteen, or more three. Okay. And then we can write here. Okay, so on top of this, we can write. Yeah, it's nice. So before writing any password, now please note it down on your notebook. Okay, and then we can uh, pass here in that configuration part. Okay, so that is easy to uh, remember. Okay, every time we have to reset the password and all. Yes, nice. Okay. But cost is too high, basically. So let's see. We can see or we can cancel that after some time after creation. Okay. Because Amon is not going to pay this much of amount. Okay. Or let's see. I can just pass him da, 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 for pass. Okay. This is the cost of this VM. Okay. The storage and all. Okay. See. Per GB cost 10, uh, 10 rupees. Okay. And anything else we can calculate. Can also modify something from here to reduce also. This is a general purpose. 32 and all business critical name or not. Items name not required. Mm -hmm. We have a standard forge minimum forge. We can put here virtual core stories. Okay, and next, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay, so let's create this. Okay, and then we can drop this one. Okay, and see the features and all. If we get approval and all, then we can keep it for long time. It is saying for free. We can try free for twelve months. Manage instance. We can try that one. Let's see. Okay, this free one. Okay, if it is helpful, then we can try. So, pass same we can just write here. It's free. Pass okay. Sorry. Then just selecting default that is US two zone okay. US have four zones one two three and four okay. 
and is saying basic on basic one then we have same thing same configuration okay right this is our free one okay let's see go to the network bar network what we have to provide so network we have to just select that if you are going to create all the vms as uh, sorry pass services okay okay pass so you will just select one subnet basically okay so this is for different one uh, this is the by default we are getting but we can just create as a pass see okay not uh, not here then we can create there's no option for create i think so not saying it's going to default single submit okay it is as a free we are getting a single subnet here okay next uh, proxy not required connectivity then endpoint public intranet okay and then we have a tls version 2.2 so tls you know about tls transport level securities okay so now it, we are facing too much uh, issues on TLS, TLS update basically on uh, the on premise okay if this is updated now we are unable to connect with the sql server okay so we just focus on this one version so we require 2.1.2 uh, okay this is a tls now seems good till now nothing else no monthly charges so we can try this free one okay what is the limit you can see here and then security part so in security there is no we can try check defender but not this is not useful okay because not sick too much critical data and all so we leave it td we'll see later we can enable later td okay for data encryption and all okay next part is just additional settings not required because just we are going to get pass so this is lsn and all time zone we can say then geo replication okay so we are not going for geo replication if you have a production server and you are going to keep your database in multiple zone okay multiple uh, uh, replica then you can select geo replication and we can uh, move the data automatically to that uh, after failover okay that is totally like clustering basically okay and then uptime uh, always uptime so we are not staying for database engine uptime just to sql server 22 it is selecting by default okay so we can check that okay and not 19 no option to select 19 okay maintenance window we can select but it is a trial version so we cannot uh, enable that so this is for basically what trouble a uh, um, patching and all on some other uh, requirement for maintenance data so we can set here uh window for that uh, system maintenance and all okay so this is default microsoft setting okay next tag we are not going to tagging anything here okay so review and create so this is a final but we are getting the relation fail you can check what is the error but let's see and this is your configuration okay we can go there relation file require missing or not valid okay so let's copy this first print this is for manage instance what we can say here pass sorry so let's validate the error what is saying that the basic one the basic tab Which is not empty set admin okay but we have not configured that uh, max extra mm -hmm. then we are not going for ta -ta -ta. then you can select different one azure azure advisor not azure compute dns uh -uh -uh -uh. let's see the azure portal account simply leave it okay so this is default we can connect here okay for this account we even create okay this successfully okay it will take up to six hours but we don't have any data so it will create simply in couple of minutes okay or you can download this template here okay 
so these are the simplest step because uh, we can dba we are not a windows admin but but we are here we are just working as a D, uh, windows admin too okay so what os label hardware label and network level we have to select all these things but in on premise we get the uh, we can just say that windows box ready okay and then we install sql server and all so it is different because we are uh, we are just going to do all these things by your as a db as a db not a uh, windows admin or network admin so i think it will taking some resources configuration and all and it will take it the progress bar no okay adding okay So by default, we will get 2022 SQL 22 images and all installed inside that. As for our configuration, basically, okay. And in VM in infra as a service, we have to just install. Okay. We don't have any image basically there. And in Azure SQL, we also get the same thing. Okay. But in services, we get only the services like, okay, just we can connect on the portal only free instance management okay see resource name and it is deployed okay the name and all mm -hmm. so basically in backend it is doing the same thing as we are doing our on premise basically that is where the resources mapping the ip addresses subnetting and that uh, mac id all these things binding there and then it will install the sql server and then we get that the main window that is all this is created and deployed but we cannot see the progress basically what is happening behind that uh, this window basically so that's why the cloud that is the name is cloud we are not able to see where the data is, where the uh, Windows file or where the config file residing. But in, in in short, we can say that being a DBA, it is also a physical server, but we don't have access of that physical server. This is like a huge box, okay, in terabyte mm -hmm. memories and storage and all. But that is distributed as per their uh, application that uh azure or gcp or uh, we can say the rds aws so i think it will take some time so let's see the features uh what we get in manage instance okay so in manage instance we get that automatic backup automatic patching automatic high abilities if you select that geo application okay on security as we know that we have a td or we can just uh, enable that uh, microsoft defender firewall we can just enable that how which port uh, should be enabled or not so this is depend on our environment or our business requirement basically and here we have a full backup basically uh taking uh, that is their backup retention basically back about backup we they take uh, uh, hourly basis, I think hourly basis or something different here. Let's see. We have a retention for the backup. Some da, 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 when, uh, let's see in backup part. Okay. So we have a retention for five or ten years, the long term retention. Okay. On the past services, basically. Or basically yeah. one month. One month yeah. we, they are keeping a full backup and uh, difference in a log. So uh, one question here. Mm -hmm. I have. Uh, can we take uh, uh, this uh, SQL MI instance mm -hmm. backup ex externally? I mean, no. Ourselves that no. I that we no. Do, I no no you on the URL the storage we have to just define that the URL we have to define and then we have to pass that. But actually, URL. in uh, uh, I was trying to mm -hmm. take the backup uh, to the url but uh, it was saying it database is encrypted by manage the key i mean yeah uh, microsoft manage key so yes, we can uh, you know not allowed to take the backup so is yeah. any other way yeah you have to just 
you have to just disable your encryption okay yeah. and then you can take the backup but the uh, disabling and uh, doing the backup benjamin can you mute yourself disabling and taking the backup uh, is it the uh, any impact on the database or server yes 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 for sometimes there is slowness okay because okay. it will enable and write the data uh, in encrypted no mode. not in terms of slowness i was uh, thinking it may be uh, corruption in the database or no no like nothing nothing no 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 the td enabled in 2008 so that is a mm -hmm. part of security okay the sensitive data like your banking or card or we can say the pan account aadhar card so that is for safety that is the end user or we can say that the customer cannot read your data or the dba cannot read the data basically in simple way we cannot okay. also explore the data okay without any encryption key and all so that is a part of security so if you are going to take a backup and restore the td the also asking for the certificate and uh, okay. um, uh, salesh i want to know how to apply the keyboard use the keyboard also so please uh, in some lecture uh, include that yeah 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 we can include that what are the uh, things now we can just touch all these things okay what are required here okay mm -hmm. because amani also asked me and the i think your manager also talked with me and in in a call okay he's just saying that mm -hmm. we are not able to do it. so that is there is no option basically on microsoft Okay. they are not providing basically okay so we are there's only option that you can just disable that and you can take a backup and then enable nothing else mm -hmm. because that will ask for certificate simply mm -hmm. the, yeah there's a procedure for uh, there's a there are steps that you have just apply the certificate on where you're going to restore and all all these things okay and i have seen this error also like if any orphan object in the database that also does not mm -hmm. allow to take the backup right in the zero i have yes, seen yes. that Yes. If any so orphan orphan will, uh, yeah. yeah, that is also a best bad practice. Now we cannot keep orphan users on the database. Right, right, right. That is the bad practice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so how so much time it will think... take? <laughs> yeah, that is a process, basically like a simple way. But uh, yeah, uh, just doing writing all the data not... on the. <laughs> we did not select any, you know, time-consuming services even. Only no, nothing. nothing. Yeah. It will see. Yeah. It will first create your VM. It, it, it will mm -hmm. also creating a VM. Just okay. Mm -hmm. Then it will start restoring the uh, create. Uh, sorry, installing the SQL Server 2022. There are two steps. But first, it, it, it is. Mm -hmm. Is it is in the background? Is it create the VM or only service? No, because we use the like, service only. Like like a VM. Okay, okay. Like a VM. Like a VM. Like a VM, but we cannot uh, take that RDP connect. basically. Like a VM, right, yeah, right. we can just use that uh, uh, Azure Data Tool to connect this system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, it will take some time. Okay, so whatever we are going to. Uh oh. Failed. Resource side is not available. Why? <clears throat> resource ID is see blank. It is showing. So I think we did not select or it is deleted or something. No, no, no. The default is it is providing default from the Azure. Okay. We are not getting here the our resources. Our resources in that IS services. Okay. That is enterprise service. We can get select network and all. Okay. okay. But here it is providing a default one setting. Okay. Because we are going for the free service. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go back once again. It is a free one. Okay. US2. Pass resources resource group okay and subscription so okay not assign the host okay. So this is second step is in progress basically okay and third step will first equal server instances here okay so there are three steps it will take some time but yeah we can get this one you have one ongoing operation yes running yeah let's 
Link. Okay, so then go to the PPT first. Okay, then we can see here. Okay. It's about it. Yeah. Can you please mute yourself, someone? Right now, I see. Yeah. So here we can just see all things is automated. Okay. Just we have to just uh, check that on where the path is, and we can just restore from there the default path. Okay. If the battery the automatic backup is happening, na, we can go for the restore, and it will take the backup from the default path that is mapped to that uh, pass service. Okay. Not hybrid license options and see the backup and restore. Okay. So in backup and restore, it automatically full backup. Okay. Difference and log. This is provided by database. Uh, Okay, manage instance or school data is offering. Okay, geo replication, geo redundancy. We have not selected a replicate data in a pair of uh, reasons. Basically, automatically we that is re, uh, transfer data in multiple zones or multiple data centers. If you selected that one, okay. Okay. And next, uh, mm -hmm. copy only backup. That is uh, in only it. We can just available on that. Uh, we can say manage instance only. Okay. Mm -hmm. But but this is a benefit of manage instance. I think you know about that. Mm -hmm. Copy only backup. If data is corrupted now, we can sorry no sorry. Uh, we can just take on uh, log shipping. Log shipping implemented. That will not break your LSN. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the migration options we have. Log relay services, Azure migration extension for that Azure Data Studio. I think you are about or aware about this uh, tool basically. That is simply like our measurement studio SSMS. Okay. Azure Data right. Studio. Yeah. And then we have a manage instance link. We can get uh, that link and then we can do online uh, migration. Native backup and restore. We all know about it. Take a full backup, difference, and log, and then we can restore that one. Okay. And then we have a last one. Transactional replication. If you are trying to migrate or planning to migrate from on premise to pass services, okay, pass on pass. Mm -hmm. So these are the five migration options we have. Then we can implement or you can use as per our requirement or client uh, situation and all, okay. But in my opinion, I, my, for my experience, we can just use Azure migration uh, extension that is data tool or transactional replication is easy. Okay, this is not a hectic task for us. Okay, this is on um, one time you can implement that and then you can uh, migrate the data. No machine. Tran no. Tran so transactional replication will be from on prem to Azure, right? Yes, yes, yes. You can deploy that. So where it will create the files and a snapshot and all it will, it will be on yeah, Azure yeah. Or? Azure blog. Okay, okay. See, it will create on Azure blog basically. Okay, it will we have to just map one shared path we require that where you are keeping the snapshot fold file. Okay. Mm -hmm. That will require you can do offline and online both. This is the only way. Easy way we can say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is still running. Okay, it will take some time. Now, the next part is data pass with SQL. We are seeing this one. Okay, how oh. so we have. Uh, in that we have a single SQL database or elastic pool also. Okay, for that is, is Azure database. You can say that with two type of Azure uh, SQL basically, S single database or elastic pool. In elastic pool, I think you can just uh, uh, we can use that as a uh, Citus. You know about the Citus, the Postgres extension. Citus means that is using. Uh, uh, uh splitting your data on multiple uh nodes basically okay that is horizontal mm -hmm. part is mean like that okay mm -hmm. so in that we can you can create those two things on a school uh, uh, sql uh, sorry azure sql and we are working on this pass options and all see the architecture of this how it is creating basically simple like uh, on premise is doing okay Nothing else. 
we have purchased on DTU basically, or sorry, core base, not on DTU. So there are two things uh, here. We can is on V core. We can you can see that on we can select as per our business requirement. We cannot go blindly basically. Okay, select a business or a uh, hyperscaling because it will increase your cost basically. Okay, you don't know where this is going for, but yeah, the best way that you can just select the VM core number of cores and the memory as per your utilization not blindly okay this is serverless features that is very useful features basically if you are not using your system it will automatically paused okay so your cost will reduce so this is also a way for creating your uh, server on sql server on pass service and as for backup see here the full backup once in a week the default setting here differential 12 hours lock every 5 to 10 minutes okay and for long term we have a five years i think so five years as you're providing you not written in actually five years okay it will provide for five years of data long retention period here sorry 10 years okay so this is the backup default policies okay we cannot modify this one because it, it is providing automatic backup and all on the past services i can share you the ppt okay this is a page basically but we have a ppt so in ppt i have a splitting something different way okay so i'll share the okay. ppt of this yeah so just wait for this if it is creating then okay it will take some time and then we can discuss about that the roles and all can we try to connect let's see but it's still it is progress no no it, it will take some time there see okay. just we are saying the cloud now but it, it is cloud because you mm -hmm. don't know where it where it is but it is doing the uh, same thing which region be selected <laughs> yes yeah no it'll be changed no, okay. us us2 us2 okay Okay, okay, US zone, yeah. AC is not providing as a free or something different because they are not providing us. Not, but yeah, mm -hmm. see, creating the instance here, see, yeah. SQL Server instance. Mm -hmm. So it will doing the same thing, but it is totally mm -hmm. automated, scripted, basically. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So what we get here, see, access, you can see here the monitoring part, okay. Active log you can get here, okay. If you are monitoring the past services, okay. You can get all the logs here, or you can monitor, manage, or troubleshooting according to that. Then we have access control, IMA. Then you can provide access roles and assignment to the users, if you are providing any, uh, adding any different users and all so these are the rules we can see here okay after creation of all we can add and add, deny or just do something changes as per requirement like we do in microsoft uh, sorry on premise system okay and then we have a security policies here you can check all these things see if it is created now we can get this option okay this is grayed out because we don't have any system to implement that so net in network you can say that microsoft defender you can use td you can do that private endpoint you can change that so for the application and all okay trusted group and all okay then monitoring part so in monitoring you can see that add uh, alerts that is we get you can set the alerts for cpu and all matrix we can see that here diagnostic settings you can see later Okay, that is totally like uh, we can say that uh, we have a on-premise activity monitor basically. Okay, so in activity monitor we can get all these things. Okay, and then we have a log. So we can see log like uh, on-premise that is SQL log. Okay, nothing else. Da -da -da. Then we have automation. So automatic task and we can see from here, okay. But we have not added any task, so we can just add and all. 
just wait for some time that if it is deployed properly okay then we can do all these things step by step so this is the features we get or options here on this pass after implementing the pass and all okay so if you know about that all these things the quick start so lift and shift ssis package you can create that for migration okay see this is migration database too many things okay you can just read it out okay what are the options but we just get from here also from that uh, different portal mm -hmm. uh oh It's okay. Deployment. Still in progress. It will take some more time. Okay. Any question till now on pass? Have you seen the pass services before, or just is this first time for you? No, for me, I have seen that. Salish. Okay. Okay. Already. Okay okay do you have any question basically you can discuss mm, right now not in mind but okay. if in, in between i will ask okay okay so basically it is doing the same thing okay nothing else it is just creating vm and we after on the top of the vm they are providing a sql server instances but this is totally uh means this is a business policies basically okay nothing else mm -hmm. you cannot know how many system is running on this hyper uh, hyper v or we can say that uh, mainframe type right. system yeah so they are just business policies or anything else it's too much slow basically it'll totally time killing and all then there's no more options here okay and leave it running okay then go to that we can go for <coughs> azure sql okay just come to the home page and then we go for the azure sql okay ta -ta -ta. you can see from here also from home ones okay at the home then we have more services and then we go for azure sql this is a part of pass basically okay mm -hmm. yeah this so we can create from here or from here also just click it it will give a new window yeah, see, this is about that as uh, Azure SQL basically. Okay, nowadays SAP and Azure Microsoft tie, tie up for that selling this Azure database basically for their SAP hybrid project. Okay, on huge amount of requirement in the market basically. Just create mm -hmm. on create simple way. Just create. Okay, then it will ask for that all the same. See, we have a same tab. See, for the all <coughs> we have on Azure as pass and SaaS whatever. Okay. The same thing, see here. Okay. So just see here, this saying that you can go for the free offer. Let's see. Okay. And we can create for the free, not going for the pay as a service. Okay. Now we can select that pass. This is a resource group because this is easy to manage basically okay so you are keeping the same uh, resource group okay name of databases so dp300 now so instance server. created we still progress man yeah this is still progress we are just creating this uh, azure database only okay this is different feature oh in pass service in pass yes, yes, we yes. have a two things manage instance and azure okay SQL. and then we azure sql so many instances in progress so we are not going or waiting for that okay it is in back so how is the uh, how is the how is the different uh, azure sql is different from mi 
because uh, uh, sorry how azure sql is different from a sql mi manage instance yeah because manage instance we can manage 50 percent but azure sql we cannot manage we can just see and just monitor or just uh, we can say check the data and all so okay. the clients can successfully see here yeah. okay this is complete okay okay okay, okay. okay so we we'll see that let's let's create this first okay we're going to see that okay just like a services okay not nothing else okay and okay. we can select the server so we can deploy your <coughs> server in any c here we have to just pass this database window.net this is uh, we, we don't know where this is server is okay we don't have access mm -hmm. on this server but we are going to deploy our data on this server okay okay so now we have passed the dp and then we can name cost that. wise uh, cost wise which is less if configuring the same services same thing same configuration cost wise which is less azure sql or managed instance azure sql okay okay good yeah. so basically cost wise but we have to see the performance being a dba okay. at the end after deployment and it will come mm -hmm. to you that we are facing the problem right, so right you cannot justify the cost basically that point of time that's right yeah okay so we have just passed the server name here so the server name is pias db dot datas dot windows dot net okay and the zone is not to providing for this so we can just change the zone basically location the data center and all so we try if this we are getting here now then with the free in central asia yeah. okay or it will connect it with azure data uh, ad basically okay azure active data directory that is now is max try id that's it i want to see that max try id okay so that will help here to connect with the max try id okay so we are not creating and creating any max try id okay we don't have any domain and all activated so that we will see here just add our default account which have yeah i am just using my login account as a max try id okay i can connect with the that same okay mm -hmm. and then we have pass here for this is a azure sql SQL so in S A S Q L can pass the simple name A S Q L. Let's see. Okay, done. And then a password. The password is and keep like same. Okay. D. See here the password policy is change here. See pass for minimum sixteen. Or for normal account, normal databases, it eight length. Okay. So I'm here. So okay. Not matching. Why? So let me write this. Okay. Then hit okay. Now it is asking for networking. So okay. So we can create this networking for our own that is we have created previously or we can just leave it okay see here about that a limited offer for benefit uh that is in uh for azure sql automatic pause database until next month we can set that or we can use continuous additional charges okay so this is a free version so we can keep for one month free okay and if you go for the charge it will charge after one month if you are using or not using okay and then the backup storage latency okay so locally backup we already selected so it is set checking out our local backup as a free okay 
now networking we have three type zone redundancy and geo replication okay so you can just select as per your requirement as per your cost basically it will impact your uh, bill basically okay now the network so we are not going to use our public or private network so keep this no access vehicle you, 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 we can use from the portal only okay or we can do r d after implementation okay we can just create a private uh, endpoint not public okay no connection basically the proxy user we are not using any proxy user so we cannot use that the default one okay so you, you can connect from the your portal and all tls here the minimum 2.2 1.2 required okay security wise so we are not going for free trial for this one okay leave it so because after the cost is 1200 i think so yeah 1200 NRI. and then no no server level key ah uh, td not enable leave it uh. database level no leave it we can create after some time okay this is collation data source we don't have any sample or any backup okay and the maintenance window okay so you can change the maintenance window as per your convenient okay the default is 5 pm to 8 am okay as for your data centers okay selection and all tag no and then you can review this one see so as we are using free so no cost here okay you can get minimum uh, settings and all this is the configuration okay so this is about the database if you if you want then you can use that existing uh, sample database also okay so just we can uh, go to the back or previous we can say here see you can get a sample database okay or you can just create your own if you're going for none or then you have a backup then I can select that one so just review and create see this is a our is your database da, 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 da. and collection here mm -hmm. Okay, then print. Okay, then click on create. So it will validate all the settings. If there's no any error, then it will creating and giving our main window that is completed or finished. Okay, let's see our uh, pass service. Okay, pass. So go to the all services so go on to home first okay deployment progress so here is our pass see this is a main window whatever you're creating your uh servers and all na, in your uh, account we get here all these things okay so this is a managed instance see it is written here sequels or a managed instance resources vms resource group okay so click on this our managed instance now it is ready see Now you can create new database, then password and all. I think we can connect now in the SMS, right? Yes, yes, yes. See, so basically we don't have any database, so we can create a database and then we can connect. Okay, so mm -hmm. create one database in the pass. So this is a pass DB leave it so instances us2 okay same resource and data source nothing endpoint not required and nothing leave it take a point in restore we can select that but it will be costly if required we can 11 or not 
this is about that uh, long term retention configuration seven days this is about to pass so we can just retention period we can set that okay for the disk databases okay how how long we are going to keep this database okay so this is a test database or demo database not more than seven days we can destroy or Azure can also destroy this database okay after seven days this is a retention period so review this one so nothing else simple okay yeah so this is our past db okay i think azure sql also completed here okay see so we'll see later first we'll see this past database now go up yeah it is initializes da, da, da. Hmm, loading. Basically, totally a GUI part here, okay? In past services, na, most of the activity is GUI part, okay? You have to just work and then, then you have to just remember the tab and all. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. Where you can get the data. Plus, nothing else. But it is very easy in uh, AWS, basically, A mm -hmm. other than Azure and GCP. GCP has some command line, okay, PowerShell and all. GCP cell, okay, they have created GCP cell, and you can deploy it from there, okay. So it is created, okay. So back home, just uh, press this, and then we can see all these things, okay. Back. So see, we have a passer manage instance pass resources and we have a pass database see manage database so manage resource instance has managed database and other is sql uh, sorry uh, we can say azure sql okay mm -hmm. so create this one sorry we can select this one see no restore point on all okay backup returns is not set here okay so now we can try to create, uh, connect with that uh, manage instance and all. This is SQL DB. Okay, let's see. First, connect the manage instance. So we can create some different uh, Azure data tool. How can we connect first? So you can use data tool or something management studio. Management studio. Management. SSMS. SSMS. I'm going to try to let's see. Okay. SSMS. We can open here. So this is our connection string basically. Okay. This. Mm -hmm. We'll just copy this and then we can use this username and we have a password. Nothing else. So we have a. 64 GB of memory. Oh, oh, wow. Enter. Let's see. Yeah. Uh oh. -oh. Then, do you know how can you use this? You are not going for MFA, SQL authentication, Active Directory, or which one? ADF, no. So you can use here SQL authentication, okay? 
or this one mfa mfa we have not enabled now here we have mfa not enabled here let's try from sql okay and we have a user that one for pass this i think pass admin we have written here Dun, 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 dun. and then password and password is too long here yeah ADF is not enabled. I think we have to enable that ADF first if you want to connect with the ADF or a account. ADF, ADF is required to enable in this. Yeah, we have uh, more options now here. Like uh, Azure ADF, no? Okay, okay, Azure ADF, okay. Yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, we have previous three. Okay, now we have more options. We can right, use right. it uh, LDAP also. Okay, this is but usually it works. I have seen uh, most mm -hmm. of the cases. We have not connection attempt failed because it is general generic error. Yeah, simple. Not so... reaching to the server. What is the port default port 1433? Do we need to specify or it will work? Three not especially because we have not passed here nothing here no? mm -hmm. let's see the configuration pass security. here there is no option to connect right test and connect uh... no no here not this is a, just a window first uh, just we can see all these things okay right right and this is system is started here see system is started data we have created okay and now we can just see from here all these things okay and see free built-in fire enabled can you disable this one firewall no and last 24 hours okay place and 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 what settings connection Next string we can copy come copy from here also okay we have more yeah. connections to see here <laughs> too many connection string here yeah, too many. <laughs> whatever you want you can copy the adio.net odbc this is for third party basically we are connecting now ah, that is uh, right, right. link server and all so sql authentication and... bnet local tcp free copy it from free to one four three three let's try we this can, one. Yeah, we can yeah this one after tcp colon Three two yeah. one four three three. Yeah, I think so. Because in here we have to just pass one port number. Let's try to connect. Go to portal again. Uh, Shailesh, I see one uh, difference in this. Minute. Go to back uh, in the same yes, in the connection string. Wait, wait. One one seven one zero zero one D. Database Windows dot net. Okay. All are it is adding by default. No, it is adding okay. by default this thing. Pass encrypt true. Password trusted false. True. Go to that Encrypt. SSMS. Encrypt true. Karna we have to do true. Okay, let me. No, no. In the options, it. in the options, uh, Salish. No, no. It okay. will show. Encryption. I don't know. No, no. Property only. Encryption. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Encryption. Yeah. Yeah. Or trust. Yeah, no, no, first one only encrypt connection. Trust okay. is already false, it is telling trust should be false. Yeah, now I think so uh, we are okay. We are okay, I think. Let's try one pass okay. colon or semicolon here. Hey, a comma, comma, they are given comma. Okay, they did not give anything, right? Mm -hmm. No, no, we have provided this colon basically. First, I try to connect with colon basically first. Okay, that okay. is easy to connect. Let's wait, maybe take time. First time. Mm -hmm. 
this is the way basically we have multiple way to connect here but that's like a sql only okay if not then we can use that max to id see here microsoft id okay just we can create okay. our id here yeah then we can connect from here go to the connection listing what is the other option they are telling to dis disable enable multi vectors for false encrypt to trust certificate false connection time of 20 time of 30 my default is this one let's give this parameter also multiple active result set false let's try if it is not doing the not same error tcp not allowing that okay then see connection property connection 30 okay trust certificate uh, to provide database name here no no Celeste can we try that option multiple activity result set copy that word from the connection string no here there is no option we have no. to give the additional connection parameter copy that word from the connection string no in the other portal say copy we need to copy it multiple active result sets only only multiple active result set is equal to false copy this uh, is equal to false yeah till here and copy it and Let's give in the Let's additional see. last time. No, no, last time. Additional connection parameters. Just paste it here and let's try. Yeah. The CD detected the, all the, the server MC by default, I think. It is reaching to that. No, we have copied that. Okay. See. Okay. Yeah, you have copied. Doesn't... Just click on connect again. <clears throat> Sometimes it's very hectic to connect basically. Mm, sometimes it's on Azure, basically. Yeah. Or you can download the Azure for Azure S Studio. Okay. It also helps. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, no, no. So we have provided the name. Let's see. This is pass. Okay, we have printed that one. The last. Sorry. Let me check that username. Where document? No. error it is not reaching to that system basically after just taking long time basically okay mm -hmm. after this connection it is not reaching there instance is let me restart once this system okay okay sorry once let me start the system this is a pass service a stop and then a start stop okay and now I start the service uh, 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 uh. so host name is this username is this oh, oh see we are not passing proper proper name pass admin we have written here uh, we are passing here some different one Admin. Oh, single yeah. S. <laughs> no, 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 admin. <laughs> okay. Uh, admin is spelling is missed. Uh, basically, Adam we have written. Uh, pass Adam we have written. Yeah. Oh, we have right. configured here. Pass admin. Here. Instance admin. Okay. So we can connect from these users. Now we can try if it's started successfully. Then it started. Okay. Then. 
can act. Now it should connect it. Ta -ta -ta. You are not reaching there. Why? Instance admin. Where we are saving the data, let me check that one. We can open that file, exact username and password. This is in music. Uh oh. Okay. So go to the music. And we have created past. This one. setting this one now same error something maybe mm -hmm. we are missing yeah but exactly what it is saying that established connection fail 30 second after the repair timeout why we are not throwing that a password error no username and password are not throwing error connection 30 second keep 60 okay and you can also pass the db name okay if we have already okay what is that pass db this is pass db Connect directly to this database, okay? Network yeah. will not require it. One minute. Mm -hmm. You can see the log also, okay? We are getting here, reaching to the system, you can get the logs. No, no, is not captured here. Let's see after 60 seconds what happened here. Now, same error TCP IP or network attempt fell because connection party did not properly respond after a period of time. Okay. Okay, I, I I will check in okay back end okay I will not kill the time and let's see that uh, this one we have create sorry this pass database okay sorry uh, as geo database okay where is that one see. So for this, uh, the database uh, database server is different. Okay, we can collect connection string from here. So connection string, what is saying that different different connection string? Okay, see the default port for this same also. Okay, authentication this. So this we we can pass this in application. Okay, but in SQL instances, we can pass this one only. Sorry. Copy. 
copy and then we have more option for database to this sorry the path of pass db na database name is pass db same and then username but here we have not passed the username now we can connect with that uh, our uh, portal account or something like different same account see it is going for this we cannot use this one no user account here now let me check the default but i have used this one uh -uh. Uh -uh, no any idea we are missing anything here for db pass db sql it's your sql server name we have so it's here and uh, his status is paused so why it is showing uh oh means not started sorry not started yet yeah so we have to just start this and then uh, let's see configuration part public access we have to provide this okay or private access private we don't we can connect on network azure only or public means outside that okay so it enable this select network virtual network we have to add yeah this one okay and this is the ip addresses and all so system will be in this ip addresses and then, then connect okay let's save this In the first one, Celis, we are not adding in the virtual network any rule. Network to connect your resource using the service endpoint. So we have already uh, the, this one, DP demo network. No? We can just name them okay. only. Okay, okay. We selected that, that our default I've selected here. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's your, it's your SQL network. Okay. So we have already this one. So it's like this subnet. Okay okay because all vms and pass is on same uh, subnet basically okay done Yes, take yeah, done. This is done. Okay, firewall rules not required, I think so. Or we can add our network for these connections. No, not required firewall rule and IP address to start from. Okay, Let's see. This is for public. Okay, okay, and okay. Connectivity. I want network domain not specified okay connection policy default not taxi director direct direct default means that will connect as your okay endpoint and all okay 
day from it. Take okay, no time soon. Now, now it is available. See, okay. Is pass DB you know, where? We pass SQL DB you now where it is. Simply we're doing something wrong here. Yeah. So this is SQL Server pass DB and SQL data is Azure. Okay, see this one. Okay, DP three hundred pass yeah, DB yeah, DP three. Yeah, this one. So this is Azure SQL. Okay, this is showing pause. Okay. We are working on the same. So restore point we don't have. So there are two things connect with Azure Studio and Visual Studio only, not SSMS. Okay. It's not allowing us. But uh, but it works with the Azure SQL also. We can connect uh, no, the SSMS I... BHU. No, we usually, we usually work uh, in the current environment. Mm -hmm. That we is pass so many... services, no? That is pass services, no? Pass database. Yes, yes. yes, yes. This is this, this is this is a pass, but this is only a Azure SQL DB. This is not managed instance. It is only a database only. Uh, okay. So let me download this one. Okay, I I will download this one and then. We can connect this one, okay? Or we can directly connect with that pass services, pass, pass instance only, okay? Directly, if you configured here, na, so that we can connect directly. See the properties first. See, okay, this is the properties of this databases. Pilot is able, backup, retention, authentication, see here. Authentication is ASQL and portal account, okay? See, this is authentication account. So we can connect with Azure Data Studio only, not with see it's saying that connect with azure data and visual studio only so this is azure sql not pass database okay or manage so there so there are three different things so azure sql yes, azure yes. Pass and manage instance no no is it pass in pass services that is a pass see in azure we have a uh, as ps right or or SS okay so okay. in that we are working here on pass so pass provide two facilities one is manage instance okay mm -hmm. and second one is azure sql database so here so, this window is uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. azure sql so, database we also have in the environment we usually mm -hmm. connect through the ssms only that is pass service sql azure pass service that is not manage instance huh? So maybe may maybe we can integrate with that uh, this uh, direct I think uh, here we have seen that connect with the pass instances basically Go, uh, connection uh, can be check in the integration what is the integration I we think uh, that uh, software or that tool we have to uh, set somewhere in the integration tab right in the middle after notification in the bottom bottom tab after notification, there is no yeah. So, this is a integration, integration different thing. Integration okay. means you are integrating your data with different applications like okay, okay, Power okay, BI okay. or other automation table and we can say that uh, Informatica and all. This is different one. Okay, Leave it. Okay, yeah. This is this, this, okay. this is different one. We have okay. to just think about this property, okay? And then this mm -hmm. property is just uh, this is our authentication mode okay this is our, our private uh, primary endpoint okay and then we have a connection tool like visual studio or data tool okay data studio sorry now here we can see a start get a start see in get a start is providing a start deploying using studio visual studio or code Mm -hmm. So, you just download this feature and then we can connect. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. See, it will come to the data studio, Azure Data Studio, and then we can download. See, with the 
too many things for install 64 this is our So in pass we have two things manage instance or azure data sql we can say simply sql database or mm -hmm. azure sql only simple azure sql two things we can to get here okay nothing else da, da, da. Oh, no. i think so Already installed on system. Oops. Passing. So that's why we have Azure Data Studio in the market. Previously, we have a pass services. No? Simply, we have only managed instance. Now we can connect from the studio. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this is not able to provide a connection string and all. So we can check that one also. What is the other way to connect? Okay. Mm -hmm. Back. Okay. It totally seems like you now SaaS services, okay. Software as a service, the environment. Here, data and dynamic masking is also providing in three hours. Okay, automatic tuning also. This is a very slow process. Okay, if you're going to create for index from here, now it will take long time one day or two day if you go for enable or disable this one resume this here is the option restore huh Okay, we'll connect and it automatically up, I think so. Not an option. Okay, this is Azure Data Launch. Mm -hmm. Or from here also let's see so we have to just provide see all this thing here sql server okay and then sql id we have created that sql a sql sorry 
and then your password okay default database start connecting see okay so same connection that string be given here also right yeah so this is a different connection string for at azure sql only mm -hmm. we have created see we can also connect that uh that uh we can say that uh, this is a dp 100 300 we created for past services also okay so we can connect from here also so now we can connect to the database now we can see here monitoring part c resume see here so this is the difference if you when you're trying to connect the database now it will automatically come up if you are an idle phase it will on pause means your billing will be in your control when you are using then only it will start yes this is the, this is the main feature in SaaS services mm -hmm. in SaaS software as a service you mm -hmm. have to pay 24 by 7 uh, charges okay but in azure sql when you use you can pay if you are in ideal state, your connection is in ideal state, it automatically paused. Mm -hmm. It is not using any resources. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is that is a different. Okay. So it will take time 27 MB of data inside it. We can get a sample database here. See. So we can query here. Just uh, take one 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 just address. Okay. So let's simply we can do oh we can do that select start from address uh oh why address or addresses this is address so there's a schema name we have to pass here okay it is sales lt sale dot address okay now, totally get all the data and all we can just so it will help in uh we can do just do a uh, performance tuning then you can see all the structure and all it is indexed or not and all yeah we can see that so today we have seen two things in pass first is manage instance manage database and second mm -hmm. is azure sql so there are two different things in my instance system is up and running as as your vm working okay simply you can say that but in azure right. sql there's difference that when you are using then it will getting a start and then you get a data else mm -hmm. if you are in ideal state database will be paused simply Any question? I'm not sure there's nothing from my side. Okay, so uh, 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 in this topic, we have to think about that. Uh, we have this, this, then we have to migration. Okay, so, so for migration, we will create one database on on premise and then mm -hmm. we can uh, start implementing migration so i think the new session will start tomorrow okay just uh, okay yeah we can wrap this session here okay if you have any question you can note down we can discuss tomorrow okay yeah. okay okay sure, sure yeah thank you yeah thank you bye bye thank you, thank you. bye 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 bye